watching Pick of the Flicks with Tony Douglas. Today's review is the action-adventure Tarzan's Hidden Jungle starring former Las Vegas lifeguard Gordon Scott. Hidden Jungle, shot in 1955, marks Scott's debut as Tarzan. It was also the last RKO Tarzan movie and the final Tarzan feature film to be shot in black and white. Co-starring with Gordon Scott are former beauty queen Vera Miles and popular cowboy actor Jack Elam. Also featured in the film as comedy relief is Zippy the Chimp as Cheetah. Hidden Jungle was produced by Sol Lesser, directed by Harold Schuster and scripted by William Lively, one of the creative writers on the 1941 Jungle Girl movie serial. Tarzan's Hidden Jungle is a rather routine entry in the Tarzan franchise. Its story is fairly straightforward and centres around Tarzan's attempts to stop game hunters from slaughtering the jungle animals. Hidden Jungle would have benefited greatly if it had a bigger budget and had have been shot in colour. Nevertheless, Gordon Scott and Vera Miles make a cute couple and share some good chemistry. In fact, Scott and Miles found real love during the shoot and were married on April 15, 1956. Their son Michael was born in 1957, but unfortunately the couple divorced in 1959. Tarzan's Hidden Jungle may have had some shortcomings, but the important thing was a youthful Scott looked the part and possessed all the physical attributes to make a great Tarzan. At the time of the film's release, the Hollywood Reporter stated, Gordon Scott was a good-looking lad with a husky physique that would make the ordinary male cut his own throat in pure frustration. Yes, it was clear to all that with his 50-inch chest and 30-inch waist, Scott was the most muscular of all the screen's Tarzans that had come before him. He had the 1950s pompadour hairstyle. All he needed now was better material. As expected, Tarzan's Hidden Jungle turned a coin at the box office and set Gordon Scott up as the new Jungle King. But understandably, producer Sol Lesser wanted more. In 1957, Gordon Scott returned to the jungle for the bigger budget follow-up Tarzan and the Lost Safari, the first Tarzan film to be shot in colour. All in all, Tarzan's Hidden Jungle marked the starting point for a new era of Tarzan that would take Gordon Scott on five more exciting adventures. But that's another story. If you've seen Tarzan's Hidden Jungle, please let us know your rating in the comments below. For more Tarzan movie reviews, be sure to subscribe to this channel. Until next time, this is Tony Douglas, talking movies for Pick of the Flicks. Thanks for watching, and I'll catch you later.